Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is the Reverend Margaret Shuttleworth, Minister of Sochi and Coulsnaughton Parish Church. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, may I first of all thank you for the honour of the invitation to speak to you this afternoon. An honour and something of a shock to me to be asked. I know that most of my old teachers would certainly have been astonished. I had a very bad experience of school. I left school with no qualifications. And when I was there, I was for the most part educated in what were then called remedial classes. Among my most vivid memories of school are being given the belt for repeatedly not identifying my B's and D's. I hope by now you will have identified the problem, which they did not. I suffered from dyslexia. I still do. My script in front of me today is in a special font which is designed to help my reading. The guidance teacher told me to leave school and get work as a hairdresser. Thanks to a start in the old Youth Opportunities Programme, and that dates me. I worked for 25 years with people with a learning difficulty. Today, I am proud to serve the people of Sockey and Kilsnotton Parish Church. To do that, I had to go to Stir Glasgow University and there eventually I got a degree. Ironically, given my difficulty with letters, a BD, or it might be a DB, I'm still <laughs> not very sure about it. I don't tell you this story either to cultivate your sympathy or your admiration. I tell you this story because I want to say that I know what it is to be a person on the margins. A person whom the system fails in some way. For many of us throughout our adult life, that translates to us being a failure. Jesus operated from the margins and for the margins and called the powerful and the leaders to care for their people. In his kingdom value, and I hope in ours, the highest goal should be to help those who cannot speak up or when they do speak up are not heard. It's where policies should start. After all, it is at the margins, on the edges, where the real shape of society is defined. I repeat my thanks to you, presiding officer, and to this parliament for being invited to come here today. And I wish you God's blessing on your work. Thank you. 